Hey everyone, got a new printer to try out. It's the Creality LD006. Um, I have it one, I gotta change the screen on it, and it's like half the price of this printer, so I made mean, that makes sense. Uh, my Flash Forge is down, uh, I changed the screen on it, but it's still um, not really working. I'm getting support from Flash Forge, but I need my printer. Uh, my Anycubic is is going. That's my workhorse. So I got this bad boy. So we're gonna try it out. All right. So here's the printer. Looks pretty nice. It's gonna be dirty in a few months. <laughs> it's got all the regular items that you get. The charging, not charging cable, but the AC um, plug. Uh, I see. They updated the um, thumb drives that come in them. Got the plastic scraper. I lost mine, so I needed it again. Uh, here's some more uh, FIP that I can use to replace. Uh, better order some more, too. But that's it. So we're going to see how this bad boy prints. So stay tuned. All right. Power it up. Definitely got better build quality than uh, Mallet One Plus. Um, I mean, I know it's been a, a year since it's been out, but still, definitely nicer. Got that metal. Mallet One was pl is plastic, and that resin when, when that resin hits that plastic, oh my God, it just, it just gets nasty. All right, so. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, leveling the bill plate. Being careful not to sit this anywhere that's gonna touch the FIP sheet. So now, using one hand, and I'm loosening the, um, the bill plate. Yeah, you can see that they're stepping up their quality on on things. Ever since they uh, released like uh, the new um, stuff last year with like the Sprite for the Ender and all that stuff, uh, things are looking looking better. All right, here we go. And obviously they're getting more money. <laughs> but yeah, this build plate looks pretty cool. And the um. The UV protection um, screen is uh, almost like this uh, flash forge, that orange look. I'm with it. All right. I actually forgot to stick the, uh, the film in there. So let me, sometimes you forget things. I'm human. So this is a cab calibration card. Get right on that, um, that LCD screen. Get in there. All right, it's on there. It's a home. Boom. Now, tighten it up. Oh, all 
right. Now raise it up again so I can actually fit something under there. Yeah, I like the new menus. See if I can hold it down longer. Yeah. And this printer, um, I got it on um, Amazon for two forty, which is is dirt cheap. And consider this is a, um, a eight point nine inch uh, screen um, resin printer. I like this vat; it's, it's pretty nice. It's on it's on par with the, the Anycubic. It's plastic, but hey, you don't need metal for everything. Maybe there's an upgrade. I, the one that I saw on the website was black. And I don't know if that's metal or plastic, but this is what I got. All right. I'm going to tighten down. Okay. And uh, it's raised all the way up. So, go back. So, look. Here's your um, your menu. You got your, um, your uh, Z-axis. I guess you can go in there and kill your print. There's your exposure, so you can uh, uh, test your um, your screen. Uh, here's the cleaning, um, so you can go in there and get that those uh, all the build up and junk that didn't um, print correct out of there. Uh, and here's setting your z-axis, uh, and here's back to your main menu. Let's in your system. Oh, you can actually change the volume. That's nice. Uh, calibrate it. You got service, which is probably just, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so good. That's a, like a three second um, window. And let's see, it tells you about the um, firmware that's on there and you're up update and this is your bill i mean not bill but your um model number the ld006 which i had a 007 <laughs> all right uh so back here so i will fill it up with some um resin and slice something get the first print off all right i'm kind of mad at myself i didn't read what i was ordering earlier sun Lu is my favorite so normally I just uh, go in and click and, and order uh, what I, I like. And normally it's the 2,000 um, uh, gr uh, kilograms of, um, of uh, resin. And uh, I look at the price. So if I see $43, uh, that's what I order. Now this is 1,000 grams. And... Um, this is the nylon I like. I didn't read it, but I'm gonna try it out. Uh, why not? Uh, but I know this is for more like uh, practical type stuff. So, hey, let's try it out. Exposure time is up there. Fix all of this. It's 
So now <clears throat> I'm slicing them. Let's see um, how long it's going to take with these new settings. Okay, 10 hours. I think it looks about right. All right, I'm going to save them. All right, here we go. can change things on the fly. So, let me see what it's like first. Alright. See what it's going to do and come back. Let's look at that. So far? It's slow. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see how the mouse looks. Ah. Better detail than I expected. I originally printed the other one um, that I had printed on the Hallett one. You did a terrible job. Uh, that that printer, um, I don't know why it didn't last as long as it should have, but this one's pretty good. I like the results. And this is a Sunlu um, nylon uh, resin. So it looks good. We're going to see how the supports come off and uh, give my opinion on it. Okay. So here's some of the differences between the Hallett One Plus and the LD006 uh, printing quality. Um, you can see here I had a print. I had this is actually a, a print failure. Um, I filled it in with with some resin and um, and talcum powder mixture, and then I blasted it with a light, just so I could save it. I mean, it's still a decent um, looking print. You can see the layer lines because I had him positioned this way on the bill plate. Um, it's a smaller printer, so I had to, you know, position this one a little different. Uh, it has layer lines, it does, and I had him positioned at this angle. You can see one one hard layer line uh, on the foot right there. And then in the middle of the um, the base, which uh, not too bad. I can get that out with my G tool and <laughs> be on my way in 30 seconds. So no complaints there. I hollowed this one out, and uh, it did it did it did good as far as suction goes. There's there's no bends or anything uh, or warping in the um, print. Uh, this one, you know, it was warped. And um, I did print him um, uh, solid. So, so there's a little difference between the two uh, when it comes to that, but not much. But all in all, um, I like the results that I'm, I've gotten with this uh, resin. And it's pretty flexible. It's nylon resin, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. This one I printed in uh, uh, another type of hard, um, uh, uh, flexible resin. But I don't think it will stand up to the what this one can. But that's pretty good flex on there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna paint this bad boy up and sell him. <laughs> All right, uh, sorry Disney, but that's not Mickey. That's zombie.
So in conclusion, um, I really like this printer. $240 on Amazon for um, a 4K uh, resin printer with an 8.9 inch build plate. Um, that's not gonna produce massive uh, 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 3D prints, but you cut them up and it get you in the game. Uh, it's not this one. That's got a 13 um, and some change uh, build plate. And uh, that is that is my workhorse. It, it fails me sometimes, but for the most part, um, it's, it is my workhorse. I have this um, flash uh, forge and right now it's crap. I'm still going through uh, a lot with it. Um, I'm getting help with with their, uh, you know, their support, but it's, the the things they're coming up with for me to do, um, none of none of them are working. And I replaced that LCD screen in there. Um, uh, old uh, Hallett One Plus, which I got a year ago, uh, it's kicking in the back. I just got to change the um, the LCD screen on it. And for what I needed right now, I don't feel like dealing with um, a printer that is already down and bringing it back up when I could, for half of the price of a um, of an LCD screen, I could just, you know, got a new printer on um, Amazon. Two days later, I'm printing again. So I will get that one back up, but um, I'm gonna use the funds that I make from selling things at Comic-Con to help me um, uh, get my other printers back up and running. Excuse the mess, uh, but. I have that any cubic. It's not reading. Uh, I'm rebuilding the um, CR10. I'm close to uh, refinishing that CR10S5. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> you gotta know how to tinker when it comes to this uh, this game. All right, uh, but um, when you're getting good things out of it. It's, at the end of the day, it's, it's worth it. So, um, like I said, uh, this is my um, this is my um, review of the Creality um, LD006, and I really do like it. And I plan on doing a, a whole lot of print with it, uh, just like all my other printers. So, if you like uh, what you got uh, for me today? Hit the like button, subscribe. And um, I will catch y'all later. Peace out.